Uh, hello, and, uh, welcome to Regalia Oil Edition. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do today, but I just picked sign, and here we go. We're starting new because I haven't played this in quite a while. Let's just play on normal. I remember the last time I played, um... I got stuck in a moment, so that told me I didn't learn how to play this properly. And there is no cow Our level. The story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land. And I got OBS working again. And a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Lora. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Not gonna Attracting use the, the eye HD of its neighbors, video recorder. Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his Wasn't entire even thinking about this game until I saw someone now, much further in the game. Revealed. So I'm like, I. His only son, up. Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, Young K yeah. sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. Why is everything all mixed up? I was going to print out some photos, but the hard drive that has all my photos on it died since I bought it in 2011. So I'm getting that repaired, and then I'll print the photos out. Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Lauren, and I guess I'll have to be your guide here. Do me a favor and at least try to read these pop-ups. Perhaps you'll learn something. Cutscene over you. Navigate by pressing X. You can skip cutscenes by holding the square. If you do so, you'll be given a brief summary of what happened afterwards. Cutscenes that require choices cannot be skipped in this way. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. <sighs> also had some leftover pizza. I am stuffed. For great justice! Wait, but that's not our hero. Too bad. Also, in grade school, I loved the uh, first Fire Emblem. This is our hero. So. I can't feel my legs. Hey, it's almost like Jean. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. There this should place be is like mess. an auto play there. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well. Okay, yeah, that. That's where the light needs to be on. What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? No. Okay, well, there is no Actually, auto. I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions! To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. 
minions? Uh, um, free roaming. Uh, but, but in free roaming scenes like this one, you have direct control over K. Approach characters in the world and make them available to interact with their L2 or R2 to change selected care icons within its range. You cannot manually select objects while moving. As you approach them, the closest one becomes selected. If you have character icon range, press X the selected one. Interact with it. Uh, you can exit the roaming scene by it. Interacting with the door icon, use right stick to pan the camera. I have marked all the exits on this in this scene with a large gold arrow. You think you can handle it? Don't get lost now. Saving in Regalia, you can only save your game in fixed spots. Your town is one of those spots. You can save your progress in the settings menu. Press Option, aka the Start button, to access the appropriate option. There are other places you'll be able to save your game, but we'll explain those later. For now, try to exit the current scene. No, I, I don't want to. Ooh, 2017. This was a long time ago. Oh wait, that's 2018. I was looking at the 17th. Yeah, anyway, um, still though, uh, more than a year ago. Let's delete these. Gwen may complain, but she has been very keen on coming here too, right? <laughs> it's okay. Trust me, good things are rarely easy. Teehee. Teehee. Character details, information about your character, your chosen character. Uh, while certain attributes, values, may increase with experience level, it's up to you to fill the gaps with proper customization. Pressing X on a on weapons and trinkets allow you to swap them with a, uh, with a swap a character's equipment. Although weapon types are strictly assigned to specific characters, tricking trinkets are universal and can be equipped to anyone. Each character can be further modified by perks. There are shared. Be These are shared between all your characters and can be unlocked throughout various in-game activities like personal bonds diplomacy, and so on. Pressing X on empty slot will open the perk selection menu. Each perk has a fixed equipment cost, representing the amount of, spur of perks uh, slots it will take. More perks are gained with experience points or levels. A level increases the amount available slots by one. Oh god, I'm tired. Um, you can change your perks here. Got it. You can change your weapon trinkets here. Got it. This is your party level in instead of individual level ups. Your party gains experience as a whole. Got it. No damage. Short sword and pistol. I have no trinkets. I have no trinkets.
Oh, it's the R1 and L1 that change. Okay, cool, I guess. Oh, I already came from the town square. Not much of an improvement. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys! <laughs> well, at least she has her priorities straight. Gold digger. Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! Money. No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. I ain't tea. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn. As in, literal ashes. Oh, shit. Arrgh! What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who dares? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my! You, the one with the dire need of a haircut! What have you done to my remains? Well... Apparently, I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How are you doing? I... what? Don't go what on me, son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... That a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? <laughs> this is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. So I am would make me your grandfather, the Sinoralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? Or is this fantasy? So, heir apparent, is it? Easy. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Thought you'd be taller and bulkier. And. You know, smarter. That ashes stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We Lawrence are proud folk. And this... This... Nope, that didn't uh. fix it. I'm gonna have to reposition this later. Uh. Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the cat? Is it that bad? What about the village? There's a village? This ain't right. This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young As master I will- As I live and breathe. You don't see that every day. Bring, uh, uh... Look, I'm sorry about the ashes. And I appreciate the offer, but we came here looking for a family estate. Not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected... This? 
This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't. But Thomas, wait. Where are you going? K. Okay. Mm okay. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you. Ah, kids these days. Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city, then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? Young master. We're leaving this place. What? Mm -hmm. We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Well met. With whom do I have the- How rude. To demand the name of- Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. Bassiness. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. Well... I do not like your tone. This is Kay. Heir to okay. House Laura, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Inter that is an excellent turn of events. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been... Confis what? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Mm. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But... but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost... Be Why? It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistant. Ah! Mr. Knight, what are you- You will not harm them. Please. We are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in Rashtil. People respect it, and respect is money. 
I propose you seize what chance you have, rebuild this city of yours, revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse... You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <laughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But we but don't have a insane. post office. The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Are you all right, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did... did they really sell Dad's estate? Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. Wouldn't that make the debt the grandfather's though? So. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them F.U.s. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh, <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any <laughs> pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts, writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod. But I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crusy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, oh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Ah, oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. <laughs> Ew. And this means our fates are tied, for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. 
Likely for good. Any shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Eh, uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But there's no but the cow are level. still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it, them business savvy midgets. They don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck. That's great. Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. Then you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> Where's that, uh, cringe face? The peppy fly uh, face? What exactly will we be cleaning? Oh, you know, simple things. Fire webs, ri uh, rubble, dust mites. That's the big rat. By the gods, that one's huge and ugly. Perhaps the blood brood mother of those things. I wonder if it flies. Oh, for the love of... Are you really talking about this right now? Just hit it. Hit it! Yay! Probably 20 minutes in, I'm finally seeing actual gameplay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This is your list of available characters. Press R1, L1 to change the portraits. Then put the tiles anywhere on the blue tile and press X to deploy them. Got it! I mean, it's probably better that they are close. Actually, um... Let's go! Actions. During the activation, each combatant can move both, or can move both, or can both move and perform an action in any order. Combatants can move multiple times during activation as long as their movement points remaining. However, combatants can perform only one action per activation. This can either mean using a skill or an item. When you are done, ends K's activation by pressing square. Ignore all the bells and whistles for now. Focus on moving your character forwards, perhaps using a skill or two to get the feel of them. Um.
Let us strike. No quarter! It's blood dust. Let's go! Okay. Uh, below you can see the combatant's health and shield value. In Regalia, health cannot be replenished during combat in any way. Instead, combatants gain temporary shields which allow them to absorb incoming damage. Since shields are depleted before health, it is important to generate them promptly using skills. Beware though, there are numerous ways to bypass shields and they're probably... There are available mostly to your enemies. Hey, life ain't fair. There's an ability to attack all That's three your sides. Uh, deals 100 base. Oh! Cool. No quarter! Ongoing effects and passive abilities. Uh, as you might have noticed, your skills involve more than just headbutting stuff. Skills may apply any positive and negative effects, negative ongoing effects to their targets. They are always displayed at the bottom of the skill tree. <laughs> passive abilities are special types of ongoing effects unique to each combatant. They are infinite in duration and typically reflect a combatant's playstyle. All ongoing effects currently afflicting the combatant are shown in character detail view. They are also work you find the combatants passive abilities. Cool. Actually, um Let's command you and give. Oh, he already has more shield.
I thought there would be a, uh... Regular attack. For great justice. Finishing touch. Let us strike. Hmm, skillful. Let us strike! your side. <sighs> For honor! Oh my god. Here we go!
The time is now. Oh, wow. Not done yet. That did damage to both of them. I actually thought I was going to lose that. And I was like, oh, God, my first battle. What is this place? An armory? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? Sire. Uh, what? That? Uh, okay. Coming. What did you find? Wait. A sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Oh. But it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check. A direction, so to speak. Which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually, we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And, as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Indeed, it does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lord Amar's knights like it's gaudy. Lordamar? The kingdom of Lordamar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lordamarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. Why did that close? Bizarre. A gift from a king, perhaps. And also, everything closed. Mm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it. If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Hey, you're back. How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Oh, <laughs> but it's more than... <laughs> you can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history. Lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. But I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help too! How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him. Oh, come on, sis. 
Why the long face? It's going to be fun! Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field, should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho ho ho! That's excellent news! If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. No, oh, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. <clears throat> respect of my people. Ah, at last! The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty! Service! Loyalty! We shall forge bonds everlasting! This, I swear! Uh, yeah. What he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. Let's get some beer and get shit-faced. Actually, that would be hammered. Shit-faced would mean stoned as well. And I just demonetized myself. Ooh, I wonder if it's a pier. Nothing. Was only curious. This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. Uh, Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Uh, Gods, Griffith. You just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry. We don't want anything. Thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure. What do you need? Wait, wait. I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Oh, sexist. Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like... What, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith, you win. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. Mm. Mm. Greetings. Mm. Mm. Are you the owner of this inn? I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... Well, uh, be rebuilding. Um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. So, uh, the weather's nice, yes? Come on, give me something to work with. Uh, pretty please? Mm -hmm. Oh, for the love of... I won't answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean, he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, don't know. 
I haven't ever heard him mutter a word. Hmm. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is a slips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little intense. Yeah, uh, that's fast. Staring the crap out of people, one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi. Or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn, and the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. Yeah, I'd like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. So, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. <laughs> I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Rashitul. Blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Yeah, indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? More or less, yes. <laughs> Hear that, Baz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. That is a pretty intense character design, though. <laughs> oh, wow. My webcam is lagging. Or at least on the stream, not the upload. Well, that's nice and all, but... I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. Actually, maybe so? the entire stream is glitching. It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! What manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? <laughs> Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Huh. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now, yet nobody has ever actually... Nope. Sounds like a... Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sir? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. What? Oh, it's so exciting! Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Right, Papa? <sighs> On my honor. Well then, good luck, buddy. Happy hunting. I'll be raised. Now, wait a minute. Wow, I don't know why it's laggy like this. 
Oh well, the upload will be decent. Find the beast. Each character has days they can pursue their personal Bond stories. This is indicated by exclamation marks over their head, uh, by gaining relationship points RP, and advancing the personal Bond levels. You unlock unique benefits related to the character in question. The most common way of gaining RP is spending time with the character to do so. Uh, choose the spend time option in the character's conversation menu. Whenever you spend enough points in next personal bond level, unique storyline cutscene will trigger. During these cutscenes, you'll be able to influence Kay's choices, probably, possibly gaining extra RP in the process. Ooh, resistant is always good. Physical penetration. That's always nice. Increased Dilac DLC gained. What the... Is there actually DLC for this game? Because that would suck. <sighs> okay, well, this screen is... This computer is lagging. You know what? I'm gonna restart this computer. You gotta get the beast, mister. Defeat the textbooks, heroic story stuff, or that's 
textbook. <sighs> okay. It's a shame that most of those end up with the monster's death, though. Think we invite it to live with us? <clears throat> Foreshadowing. Okay, I, I think it was just my computer was lagging. Perhaps. Yeah, that, that is much smoother now. To the armory! Ha! Aw, oh, they got rid of that other piece of armor. I hope that wasn't too alarming. Armoring. Yes. On my honor. Uh, the beast truly. Oh, defeats any more damage. Uh. Oh. Oh, great. So now we have some vaguely threatening beasts, quote unquote, to worry about. Yep. Holy cow, these people are so gullible. Venture forth, yes. Yes. Um. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna venture forth. Forth. Let us venture forth. Uh, p -p -p uh, traveling around the rush till expanse. Uh, this is a general overview of the expanse. From here, you can journey between dungeons event spots, and various other relevant points of interest. Uh, traveling between two neighboring locations always consumes one in-game day. Some dungeons will reserve a fixed amount of days depending on the dungeon size. Should that number be lower than the number of days until the plot important deadline, you will be unable to enter the dungeon. Not all dunder dungeons are available off the bat. To unlock them, you need to complete the proceeding in given regions. Don't wander aimlessly around, though. Time is probably the most precious resource in Regalia! Oh, jeez. This is your in-game calendar. Every year consists of nine months which are each composed of four weeks, and each week, in turn, composed of seven days. This isn't foreboding or anything. Nothing exciting happens here, really. Thursday. Lovely. Uh, dungeoneering basics. Each dungeon contains three kinds of nodes. Combat nodes, these involve battles with the region's unfriendly 
denizens, any party matter member that are defeated during battle will be rendered unavailable until you visit a camp node or leaving the dungeon adventure nodes. These will engage your party in short choose your own adventure text quests, some of them granting rewards and branching out into follow-up quests. Camp nodes. These are small free roaming zones where you can gain bonus personal points with your party member. Revive KO'd uh, combatants and save your game mid-dungeon. There are also the only nodes you can visit multiple times in a single dungeon run. Got it. Keep in mind that lock nodes cannot be accessed until you've cleared the neighboring nodes. Got it. Well... On God. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... <laughs> it happens now! Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. You were saying? On second thought. Oh, lovely. <sighs> Shoots acid out of its behind. Ew. Activation orders. Have you ever noticed that weird looking lady activated before you? How about we use this opportunity to explain some advanced combat combat mechanics, hmm? Activations take place in strict orders defined by combatants inactivity value. While inactive remains a fixed value. God, that's the third time that's happened. Never trust the burp. While inactive remains are fixed values, there are numerous ways to influence that order. A new turn begins when all combatants finish their activations. You can check your current turn's activation orders here. I see. To a target, if it's an enemy, deals 70% of base damage as physical, plus 10% for each tile moved. If it's an ally, applies fleet for two turns and removes all native abilities. Ah, oh, of course she dodges. Skillful. 
What does triangle do? Push them back. No. Oh. This. Skillful. Leave this to me. Authority points. Authority points are shared resource pool, which can be spent to use blitz or execute ultimate skills. A party generates one authority point AP at the start of every turn. Maximum of five AP points can be stored at any given times. A combatant can use Blitz after performing their action, enabling them to act again. Blitz costs one AP. Alternatively, AP can be un spent to unleash a combatant's ultimate skill. However, the in-game changing these game changing abilities are as pow powerful as they are expensive each use of an ultimate costs 2 AP oh that's what it does Seventy-two percent. Put your guns on. Let us strike. Your mother was a hamster. I will be your opponent. what the ultimate is. Your side. Finishing touch. Falcon. Huh. For great justice. Four hundred and nineteen damage. Damn, son. Da 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 damn. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. <laughs> you speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, 
It shall be so, by your choosing. Oh, what? I turned up the brightness on this slightly. That's why it looks different. Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Hacks, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go. Is that the exact jaw count on is her meaningless. Hip? One cannot return without finding the right beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you are searching for your beast. Yes. And this search brought you here. Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? I actually understood that. <laughs> it is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I hate that the AC I am sorry, reach but here. I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll- Come now, we all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import. To her, at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No. I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks, yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? <laughs> Your arm. Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. Duckling. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this will take a long, long while to explain to Gwen.
Aside from your town, camp nodes are the other place where you can save your game. Cool. Well, camp nodes can be visited multiple times. You can only revive your KO'd characters once per node, not necessarily on your fo first visit. To do that, interact with the icon, the bed. You are aware of your fearsome reputation in these parts, I assume. My pilgrimage brought no harm upon your king, kin. Uh, Kalra pursues revelation, not slaughter. Perhaps I did not intend to question that. that. Uh, the fact remains, however, you that some have already denounced you as a local new menace. Some may come after you, even may come after you. <clears throat> Let them come. It matter not. There are but words empty and without sting, like a buzz of a bumblebee. Let them come. I always screw up uh, talking sections, so uh, you're with us now, we'll deal with it together. Just so, there is strength and unity, the duckling is wise to acknowledge that. May your totem guide you. For now, let us continue our journey, yes? I still feel like I screwed that up. On my honor. So many sheep and cattle and pigs. <sighs> Ancestors, I really, really hope none of those are my totem animals. So Griffith is the only one that is leveling up in the slightest. Oh wait, they all have 50 out of 300. What did I see on Griffith? Oh, I guess it just hadn't loaded. There's, it's way too high up. Uh, in search of a beast, you're about to exit the woods and suddenly... Uh, you're about to exit the woods when suddenly Signy gestures at you to wait. Something's not right. What's wrong, Signy? Men around the scent is clear we are being followed. I don't see any wa uh... Before you finish your sentence, 
with a timing so impeccable that it would border on comedic. A hatchet flies by your head, sinking in its blade in the nearest tree trunk. Men of somewhat questionable looks emerge from the greenery surrounding your small party. Their leader, a broad-shouldered brute with, uh, with the charm of a broak sack, proceeds to clap in an obvious mockery. Continue. Uh, the man whistles and laughs, earning a low snarl from Signy, the famous beast of Rashitil. Who'd have guessed for someone so fun-sized you have a pretty hefty reputation, reputation. Hell, it's a wonder you ain't a dragon. Instead of being stupid and saying, what do you want, when he's already stated it, and saying, uh, using your, um, seat to get them out, let's just say, screw it, and, uh, go for the fight. Yep, for you, not for us, the chuckles and draws his weapon. Today we'll be swinging in bounty money. Get the girl. Mortal combat. Dun, 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 dun. Defeat all enemies, challenge one to win the battle in seven turns, challenge two, defeat two enemies in a single attack. Okay, well, she goes here and... go there. I think she can handle herself. And... You two go there. Objects. Yes, yes. Not every battle ends when you defeat your opponents, so you have some unique objectives to fulfill. Uh, aside from objectives, there are separate lists of optional challenges. Completing challenges grants bonus experience points on victors increases the chances of obtaining combat loot. You can always review your ongoing combat challenges by pressing the touch screen or pad. It's okay if you fail a challenge though, you should feel you shouldn't feel obligated to complete all the additional or optional stuff, but just in case if you happen to be a masochist completionist, I have to warn you there are often quite they're often quite brutal. In the combat menu you can see the combat log it allows you to track your technical combat information for example your enemy rolls to hit or damage calculations. You can adjust combat speed from 1 to 4, for that purposes, press left around the D-pad. Uh, forfeit battles in battle menu allows you to partly withdraw in your current battle. Doing so will reset the party status item. And item stocks to state before Entering battle. No, note that some battles, like this one, cannot be retrieved from. In such cases, the button will be absent. Skip button in menu allows you to automatically win the battle. You can only do this. You can do this only in story mode. Uh, in Regalia, many enemies or many of your abilities will require a line of sight. To your target. Hold right stick during battle to display which obstacles can block. 
your line of sight. You can also hold L2 to bring up combatants help shield and ongoing effects. Additionally, pressing left stick while targeting will allow you to rotate any replaceable, s replaceable spawns by your skills. Um, point a combatant and press X to display detailed statistics and ability information. Fuck, it's over. God. Good. God. Savage Roar, deals 30 damage, and, and pure, as pure star, and applies panic to one enemy, or for one turn to all enemies in range. Always hits. Con! Oh, I, I, I get that one. Uh, enrage, deals 15 damage, or deals damage equal to 15% of Signe's current health. As physical to herself, applies empowered and fleet for two turns. Whirlwind. Pounce. Uh, whatever. Stand by while we assassinate you. Assassinate you. <laughs> Everyone stay cool. This is a robbery. Here we go. Your side.
Yes, yes. Whatever. Okay, well, there's that. Your side. Have at me. Time is now. Oh, whoops. I meant to use this gun ability. Well, that was a waste. Yes, yes. Let us strike. For honor. I actually thought I would have failed. Because the king is dead. I will destroy you. Oh, 
<laughs> Whoops! Oh, in less than seven turns, and I've definitely killed more than two people with one attack. I did that twice. Oh, DLC. Die lack. I really hope I didn't kill two of my men by doing that. Or, like, that they still gain XP. Battles won, you free the forest. Without a doubt, your sisters will want to hear about the hor whole ordeal. Dungeon complete. You've com cleared all the available nodes in the dungeon. Meanwhile... Hmm? Oh, another miss. Lick clean, Padram. Why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Badram. What you doing? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! oh. <laughs> Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun Ibn Al-Andoraz, purveyor of goods most wondrous, wandering merchant supreme, and uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in... here, here? Are you gonna give me a I magical know. lamp? I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> Well, well, things just got... Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. This is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. even a calendar. Jeez. Let's go to the inn. Keeping on that go gnome, gnome, 
If I were you, merchant, prince, or not, he seems surprisingly sneaky. <laughs> Master Honduras is such a nice person. I'm glad I agreed to move to Ascalia. He even gave me this gold necklace to celebrate our new friendship. Look. Huh? Is that paint flaking off? Hello, esteemed customer. Don't be shy. Open for business. What would you like? What are you buying? What are you selling? What are you buying? No weapons, only trinkets and pieces of shite. Plus 100 health, thunder resistance, ice resistant, negative effect resistance, fire, ice, and thunder. Of a copper badge. Necklace of the third eye, 5% to fire resistance. Yeah. Oh, I guess blue means there's only one of them. Pinch of salt and a copper badge. Oh. Let's give you more health. And you can have two trinkets per Hello, person. Esteemed customer. So. That would equal more than I have. And let's give you the pinch of salt. Although, he is more of a tank. So... thinking uh, go to the castle you may have found Signy but so have they okay this should be an interesting conversation What happened? Oh, joy. Please don't make a habit of out of collecting half naked women in our castle. She needed our help, that, and she may yet turn out to be useful. Oh, here, here. The youngster speaks the truth. Just to get my uh, audio levels. 
You shouldn't shun such occasions, deal, dear boy. There are many more to come, and you need to make the best of it. Huh? What do you mean? As you grow in prestige, powerful individuals may cling to your presence. You should be wise to include them in your inner circle. Temper their trust into an an or temper their trust into an asset, and you will surpass every obstacle. No. Meh. What now, grandfather? One way or another, you seem to have grasped the basics of what it means to be a ruler. The long journey, however, only begins. <sighs> Crucy. Cru. Crucy. Crucy. Aye, him and more. The debt cannot be settled overnight. If he is to be a. T if he is to keep a tight leash on your kingdom, you need to entice him with prospect. a uh, prospect of growth. But fear not, after all, you have me. Let's sell the ghost. <laughs> I can offer you guidance, you know, experience, and the direction that comes with it. Set your goal, focus your attention. It's better to work towards something concrete, don't you think? I suppose you're right. Here, your tasks will be... Well, Lassie, or Lassie, Lassie... Lassie, your objective for the next two months will be... Complete the following objectives to clear this chapter. Have plus five kingdom quests completed. Your deadline for the objective is... Song Day 28th Ascent 1093. You have 51 days, so that's one quest every 10 days. Objects updated. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to it, chop chop. Kingdom quest tutorial deadlines and priorities. You have received the complete list of tasks required to restore a skill. <sighs> they are collectively called Kingdom Quests. You can always check your status, Kingdom Quests, and Quests log under the touchpad menu. Uh, completing Kingdom Quests represents the effort and growth needed to save. Save off the debt collector. Every two months, the collector will come and evaluate their progress. If you do not meet the required quotas, it's game over. In addition, Kingdom Quests, some chapters may issue a story quest. Completing these should take priority above everything else as neglecting to do so will fill the chapter regardless of the number of completed kingdom quests. Our final word. Alright, this concludes our little series of wall tests. Remember, if something remains unclear, you can always review these tutorials by choosing help in the pause menu. Good luck and try not to screw up, will you? Hello, young master. I'm actually gonna get my water ball. Be right back, my mouth is dry.
all of my water bottles in the fridge are like completely empty, so I just had to fill this one up. Should keep me for a while. Uh, if I may, young master, come to talk about your combat technique. Uh, what now? Would you like to spend a day with Griffith? I mean, he seems like the obvious choice. I'm gonna turn Siri off. Or let's just turn off the Hey Siri for the time being. Sure. Splendid. Uh, it's been some time since you participated in prolonged combat, young master. Let us- here, let us spar. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, yeah! Splendid! There's always room for improvement, is there not? Whoa. Well, you do know the basics, that much is certain. Ready for Great. another good. I, I fear that would be the correct answer. Ah, excellent. Um. Well done. Con Continue. He's holding a sword on the right side, so I figured. Maybe the left would make more sense. Uh -huh. Your party is leveled up. New perks unlocked. Your companions go stronger. You have unlocked kingdom quest. While your personal bonds has grown stronger. New rewards have been unlocked. Your quests have been updated. Uh, you have... You have empty perk slots to fill. Select any slot to equip a a new perk. Loud and clear. Commands can now be used regardless of lamp slight to the target. I don't think that applies to like say shooting. So, uh, quick thinking, plus four to initiative. Oh wait, loud and clear seems to be unique to him, and I already have a ring for health, so... Oh, can I only use this one for, like, one character? That sucks. Alright, let's just... No, I can use it for multiples. Uh, let's do initiative. Perfect strike. Skill morph. Your pinpoint strike cannot be dodged, however, it no longer applies sundered. Um. Because there isn't a ring. Kingdom quests. Oh, jeez. Uh, construction. Construct three buildings. Construct f three, four, five. Upgrade any three buildings at least once. Upgrade a building twice. Upgrade any six buildings at least once. Upgrade three buildings twice. 
That's a mouthful. Inhabitants. Wow, there's a lot to do. Uh, reach party level 5, 10, 15, 20. Crafting. Craft 10 regular quality weapons. Okay, well, let's go for like the first one of build three buildings. Acquaintance with at least four people. Party level five, crafting. Ugh, jeez. Oh, it's the bear. <sighs> hmm, I was told there would, uh, there would entertainment that we would be relaxing, but where is the wrestling pit? I am so confused. Huh. <laughs> I... It didn't take much to crush Papa into trying to prove me to prove sign. He's silly like that. Oh, the... the... You know, um, in a part of Europe, to get, like, a subway ticket, you have to do 30 squats like that in front of a machine. You get the ticket for free. It's how they're, like, trying to keep the public healthy. And I'm like, wow, they should really implement that elsewhere. Uh, I know nothing, honest. Eh, what do you mean you came to talk? Sure. <clears throat> Yeah, go uh, I think I see what this is about. Look, our Mr. Lauren, just in case, I'm not entirely sure what game you're playing. I don't have any money, no offense. I'm not no. here for your money. Eh, you're not. Wait a minute, you're not planning on taking advantage of me, are ya? You sexy thing. What? No. Maybe poor and smelly and toothless, but I still got my pride, you know? What does a king want with a drunk like me? Is beyond me. <laughs> what? Well, regardless of your reason, I'm not going to be keeping you. Uh, I'm sure you have plenty of monarchin to do, and I'm starting to feel uncomfortable, but that's sort of beyond the point right now. What, something on my face? Come on, give me that. Don't give me that look. <laughs> I, it's just that I, uh, that myself, I prefer drinking to talking. Wah ha ha ha. Wah ho. Jeez, Sichi, are you bothering our customers again? Dude, really? A day without the bottle would do you wonders, you know? Ha! As if. At, and that's at least... And that's at least a Mr. Sichi to you, lass. Sure, sure. So, Mr. Lauren, is he bothering you? Well, excuse me. He struck up a conversation first for reasons, I guess, because a king talking to a random stranger isn't weird at all. Heh. <laughs> well, am I right or am I right? <sighs> I just wanted to get to know you, or you're enjoying... Uh, yeah. I just wanted to get to know you. What an odd thing to say. Well, there's... What's there to know, and more importantly, why? He's a guy that having to fight alongside my dad during some war. Why are they still friends? I'll never know. He's just there, part of the family at this point, you know? Oh, last. That's sweet. 
He's like the sloud, smelly, ugly, awkward uncle that nobody likes. I take it back. Heh, <laughs> well. Yeah, you know, laddie, yeah. you're a weird kid. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I've got some, ur some urgent appointment with the tankard. I don't think so. No, you don't. I'm wasting days. I'm wasting always. Your bonds have become stronger. Grants an additional fishing day. Personal bond is ready to level up. Spend time with this character. Okay. The duckling approaches. Would you like to spend a day with her? Why not? Just so. And so we will. Quack, quack. Hey. Hey, I trust nothing's bothering you. You've just been hanging out here a lot. You've had a problem adjusting to town life? These settlements of stone and wood are confusing. The town rights are unfamiliar to me, much as your kin is not my kin. But they're strong people, both in strike and spirit. The duckling keeps good company. The trail of wooden cobble I mess mesh with less. There are smells and colors that confuse me. I do not always wish to confront them. But this this brings warm the mirror of from, it mirrors familiar sights and for that I am grateful. Um, either it's indeed soothing, or the, it, so the peer reminds you of home. She'll probably say no, but it is more nature than the, anyway. Yes, no, not quite. Comfort is good, but it dulls senses. But fury is pointless. Yes, tranquility is welcome, as long as one does not grow dull. Hmm. That's right, I haven't mean to ask. There's also that one matter, your totem, was it? How do, goes your search for the beast? As I recall, that was very important to you and your tribe. <sighs> hmm. Hi. <sighs> Not too well, I take it. No, and I hold no answers. Why? A Kalran is supposed to find their own meaning, communications, confrontations, cooperations, three paths to walk in search of their totem, nothing else is known. <clears throat> to journey, to hunt, to experience, those are our tools, hands, our hands, our eyes, our senses, all but needle needles to pierce the darkness. We exchanged our oath once, yes? Will you help me? I gave my word. A rare kindness. A stance worthy of respect. I shall repay in kind. The wind sings of a journey, the wind water hums of a calling, the land dances full of life and motion. The ancestors are with us! The po the porchins portents are there. I will find my beast. This this I swear. Oh, uh, 
Um, let's go level up our, um... Our... Acquaintedness with the bartender and his daughter. What can I get you? Because, uh, more money is, uh, greed. Wait, greed is good. Nine, 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 nine. Hey there, mister. Ready to order? Sure. Sure. What can I get you? Uh, some... Hmm. Why is today special? Because the chef is always good at that. Yes, sir. Hmm. Not so much the bones, but hmm. King boy, gee. Dad's been wondering when you're going to drop for your first big meal. Actually, glad to see you finally decided to pay us a visit. Or, you know, nice to get a customer who's not allergic to paying for their food. Bzzz. Uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not sure if there is a word for people like him anymore. Ahem, so the inn doesn't get many outside customers, no guests from the road. Eh, a trader here, a trader there, nothing too fancy. Used to be way worse though, I think it's because you're here now, you know, you're attracting people. Huh, that's, that'd be a first. It's called... tourism -y. Mister? Oh, tri tourism. It turns boring old crapples into objects of mad desire. Tourism, you say. At least that's one of the old Otsubage ladies said. Hmm, I have gotten it wrong though. I may have gotten it wrong. Papa says it's a fad. I don't know really. Just some water, good sir. Who do you think would huh? win? You know, Papa and your friend, if they were to say arm wrestle, who would win? Mm. I'd probably say... My dad is... I was say her father, but Griffith actually sees combat. Okay, so I get 5% more money. need to go to the castle now. Yeah, an acquaintance stands with four people. I have that done.
town construction. From this screen, you will can order construction of different buildings around town to construct or upgrade an already existing building plus X on each building comes with individual construction costs. Not every building can be constructed right off the bat. For options to become available, you need to find corresponding dweller first. For a smithy, it requires a presence of a blacksmith. Each construction consumes one in-game day. Um... Okay, I have to build four things, which are obviously... Come in, open for business. What would you like? Let's just see what I can buy. Oh, I don't care. Spend time. Just because I can. Hmm. That's new. <laughs> That's a lot, uh, or I mean, obviously, my lord, you are a very busy person. I have my own things to do, so... Huh. Yeah, I want to buy something. <laughs> what was that? A promise of commerce? Oh, hold still, my... Beating her, uh, understanding consumer in our current sociologic or uh, socio oh socio-economical climate. Truth be told, I wasn't entirely honest. It's been a slow day overall. <laughs> if you keep up for any longer, my profits will be ruined. Oh, ruined. You support local trade, right? What if I show you this beautiful sewing set of pajama? Oh, S oh, sewing set of pajamas encrusted with the shiniest of diamonds. One size fits all. Nay. No. I say nay. Watch me go. Oh, watch me nay nay. I'm sure you can be persuaded to reconsider after all such a magnificent deal. Just no. So you just came to talk after all. You just want to talk, only talk, no purchases, just chit chat. I get it. Uh, I have reasonable prices on newest T shipments. I can see why that would take an entire day. I just thought it would give me a quest or something. One of your personal bonds grows uh, stronger. That's 
great! Maybe it's time to start inviting people having baths and like a remind me of how nice it is to have a neighborhood again. Let's get some more, okay? Yeah. Oh. oh, joy. Well, this is no place but up. There's no place but up from here. Well, I know what I think. Let's get buildings. We need some self-sufficiency to become self-sufficient but as soon as possible. Any suggestions? Uh, I expect there to be plenty of fighting ahead. A blacksmith seems like a good start, don't you think? Well... Um... I don't have the resources. For great justice! We move now, yes? Oh, yeah. I think with all the days gone, I've been playing my R2 button isn't as responsive. Let's uh, start with this easy ass place. point across and yonder trading treading the slopes of the expanse you bump into two lone huts overseeing a cliff farm animals graze and pe I should have saved on the nearby pasture looking around infrequently while fleeting curiously Two elderly gentlemen are seated by a small table in the yard, though the distance make you unable to say what exactly they are doing. See, sign tells me that three is probably the thing to do. Let's approach the men. If it wasn't tangible sense of contest, you'd call them grandfatherly. Their rugged looks and tense faces only contribute further to the aura of uneasiness. The two gentlemen appear to be busy, too busy, or seem to be busy to notice, too busy to notice your presence, or they simply do not care, lost in focus of what appears to be some sort of acquainted board game. It's actually coming back to me that I did this the first time and I they got pissed off that I got involved at all, so let's leave. Survive eight turns. All the employed player combatants must survive. Win the battle in five turns. Simple enough, I guess.
first time I played this, all I did was auto place and uh on the prowl. Save me, Griffith. Need that anymore?
at your side. No course! Well, whatever. Massacre! Ancestors. This hey, that effing bird is gone. Please stand by while we assassinate you. <laughs> Here we go. Your side. Oh, silence, my um, what? Come help me, you idiots. <laughs> I'll get you. Oh, no. I really wish that ability was stronger. Let us strike.
Take this! On the prowl! Let us strike! your side.
get you! Come help me, you idiots! Oh, I just had to survive. Sweet. I didn't feel that I was strong enough to actually kill all those people. Tree of Wishes. That sounds delightful. Uh, you encounter a lone gnarled tree long since withered by time it's dead. Ash branches pined for the skies in the embracing in an embracing gesture of turning an odd sense of slumbering vitality. Needless to say, it visibly stands out of the surrounding flora. Oh. Well, examine the tree will have been good regardless. The trunk itself appears to be old but in good condition. Strangely unblemished by trapping of age aside from many obvious man-made knife scars, hundreds of tiny copper amulets hang from the tree's twisted branches, likely a remnant of some obscure custom or ritual. You recall hearing stories about similar good luck practices among locals, children, couples, you can't recall. I mean, greed is always good, but this is one of those games where... <sighs> I really wish I could have saved. I don't want to be an asshole and look up the uh, correct thing to say. It would be so easy. Um... I imagine that I could just take one of the ambulance off of it, or I can kick the tree and lots of them fall off. You kick the tree, your foot hurts. Gah! The triants. Okay, um. Uh, there's a, a small corded amulet. It's almost coin-like in size and style. As far as you can tell, they are exactly the same round, rough to the touch, and minted with a simplistic symbol. There is an inscription on the trim. Upon the bloom... Yeah. Upon the moon so blue, wish and it'll come true. This will be good to take with us. Lucky charm. Oh, my lucky charms. Oh, I can't go back. Speech bubbles.
on my honor. I was like, well, I can't use my pistol regardless. no longer requires a landing spot to be within Sydney's lamp site. Oh. How much health does she have? 762. Actually, right now, maybe they don't need abilities, they just need... <sighs> ...health and damage. Actually, she doesn't need health. That's why I picked an initiative. Yeah, command though, that is a good ability to have. And I don't need the plus 100 health because I already have this trinket. Back to the dungeon. This is the troll in the dungeon. Defeat all enemies. Be the first party to deal damage in a battle. Land all of your finishing strikes with the same character. do that. I'm loading so I can restart that battle. Friggin' Magic the Gathering that I've been playing on my PS3. Really wish they made another one.
on the prowl. There we go. Can't use this on myself, so actually no, uh she should have it. Right at you! Let us strike! Damn, damn, damn. Silenced. Yes, yes. Let us strike.
Not yet! Behold! Let us strike! Your gods take you. Yes, yes. One down! Someone once said that civilization is the greatest of jungles. Now you find yourself in the village of Proving Points, though through unforeseen circumstances you find yourself in seemingly endless bales of hay. Embarrassingly, it draws upon you that you have little idea how to navigate yourself in a farmhouse trap. You pause, desperately trying to make sense of this alien world you you found yourself in. A distant brain from somewhere beyond the fences reaches your ears, but it offers no solace. Everything you see is dry, grassy, and yellow. If madness had a color, it would be hay. The maze is truly all-consuming. You have to get out, but be mindful to remain vigilant. Who knows what eldritic horrors await you in the rural nightmare. Go left, go forward, go right. Let us go right, because it's the right way to go. You turn right, turn torn cloth and crummy farmer equipment lie scattered on the ground. Something tells you you're touching them right now wouldn't exactly be sanitary. Let's go right again. You discover a rather nasty survive. One alive, breathing and rummaging through the nearest wagon. Ratix. They don't seem too pleased that you have interrupted their meal. What's more, there's a high chance you'll end up next on the menu. Fight. It was the right way to go.
These would be auto deployments, I imagine. seen this. Your side. No quarter. Yes, yes. Her ultimate only affects four enemies, so... The time is now. Fuck, Rick! Shut up! 
justice! Yes, yes! Continues, yes. We're not done yet. At your side.
Not yet! Watch this! At your side. We are not done yet. The time is now. Do not falter! No! We are not done yet. Push them back! For honor! May your gods take... <sighs> well, I mean... Oh, right, that was her ultimate... When the danger, with the danger put to the sword, he noticed uh, the ratics have apparently chomped their way into a labyrinth. It turns out the exit was right near you the entire time. Truly an adventure worthy of a hero. Dungeon complete. You've completed all the dungeon nodes in this dungeon. Meanwhile, caravans? Saravan? I asked him to get some goods from Minway. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful, I guess. And persistent. Might as well make the most of it. I detect a scathing undertone in your voice, my lady. I'm just a simple merchant. Try See? You didn't say on- Does the quality of my service offend you? Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sample is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away at- Are you all right? Could be better. Oh, I ate toast for breakfast and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? My vase! On my caravan! The doll! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges. What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. My vase! <laughs> I didn't violate anything. All the way from Minway. That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? Fine. Ignore my mask. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Is that oh, a giant turtle? Oh, you know turtle? how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, 
everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time anyway. <sighs> Look, it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal if that's what you're getting at, sis. What are you looking at me for? You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will. Oh god, I just want to save. This sounds like it's going to be a long conversation thing. It takes a day to get back. 38 days! 37! Your party has leveled up. I don't really know what initiative does, but, um, you're, actually, no, initiative, is probably better, because that means you go first in the queue, and him giving life and what have you is probably for the best. Look at charms! Oh! Actually, I think he should get both of the, uh... Actually, no, she could use health. What the visuals? Oh, this is probably for the alchemy. Damn. Hey there. Hello. Those two blondies brought you up to speed. They're my sisters. Yes, I thought as much. But I'm Alice. I, I travel a lot. Hold on. What did you mean, people? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Let's just get a, um, uh, a summary of what happened. 
Or not. I guess. I'm just curious, is there anything I can else I can make? Is no. Okay, I can save. Yay. Okay, um, I think that'll be it for today. Till next time.